I just need to make a quick video today because I see a lot of people asking, why can't we just use the Pacific Ocean water to put out fire? You've seen it, right? The wildfires in Palisades are raging and people keep asking, why can't we just use the Pacific Ocean water? It seems like no, no brainer. But here's why it's not just that simple. First off, logistic. The ocean isn't exactly next door to where these fire are burning. Pumping water from the Pacific all the way up here to reach the Palisades is not just expensive, it's logistical nightmare. Second, salt water is not ideal. It can damage local ecosystems, kill plants that are already struggling to recover, and even harm the soil in a burnt area, making it harder for vegetation to regrow. Now you might have heard about the Canada's famous water bomber planes, like the CL-415. These planes are designed to scoop up large amount of water direct from the lakes or the ocean and drop it on fires. But here's the catch. These planes are specifically built to handle salt water, unlike many of the firefighting aircraft used in the US. In Los Angeles, most of the firefighting planes and helicopters rely on fresh water reservoirs and lakes to avoid salt damage to equipment. The cost of logistics of switching to the salt water ready system are massive. So while Canada's plane can handle salt water, our firefighting approach in the US is different and focus on available fresh water resources. This is not just about the water, it's about the tools, logistics, and long-term recovery. Fires like these are tough to fight, but understanding the challenge helps us appreciate the incredible work firefighters do every day. Stay informed, stay prepared, and share this to share awareness.